another 3D render for you guys. This is another artist's impression I did of huge megalithic blocks I found on the northeastern edge of Elysium Planitia. The high-rise photograph we're analyzing here is called Fractured Mesa in Elysium Planitia, acquired on the 18th of September 2014 at 27.4 centimeters per pixel. One by one binning was used. And as always, I'm showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. This one's just over one gigabyte in size. And there's a look at the low res black and white. And the anomalies I'll be showing you are in this flat area of the photograph and up to the north as well. The site we'll be analyzing is amongst that cluster of anomalies right there at 1 degree 26 minutes north, 168 degrees 47 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies at sites close by as well towards the end of the video. So the first anomaly we'll be checking out folks is right there, this strange L-shaped piece about 8 by 10 meters in size and it's got a strange right angle to it, check that out and then across the one long side we've got a 45 degree angle rather strange to see that in natural geology 90 degree angles, parallel sides and then a diagonal 45 degrees very strange indeed and there's more megalithic blocks. Check this out, folks. This one's about 5 by 4 meters in size. And there's a narrower one next to it. With what looks like a capstone. Check that out. Parallel edges. Right angles again, folks. This has got a trapezoid sort of shape to it. And there's a strange circular part over there as well. So are we looking at an ancient megalithic ruin that was totally devastated, flooded over, covered in sand, and all the blocks moved about on the surface. So check these out. This is rather strange as well, this piece on top. And the blocks over here are about 6 by 7 meters in size. So check out this one, it's like a triangular block with what looks like a dome-like protrusion or knob on it and this one over here too seems to have an eroded protrusion or knob on it. Yeah, we're looking at that strange piece, it's about 15 meters long and about 4 meters wide and check out the strange shape on it as well highly irregular when you look at all the other blocks in this terrain huge block over here guys this one's about 10 by 12 meters in size and it seems to be partially covered in sand like it sank down into the surface. I wonder if this was muddy in the past. It certainly looks like it from the evidence I've seen. Very smooth flat surfaces and straight right angles and edges to it. Check out this block. This one's about 12 by 15 meters in size and it's got a rather strange shape to it as well. Check this out and then it's hollowed out or carved in on this one side so we're looking at some type of strange pyramidal structure over there and then we're looking at that strange block it looks almost like a blockhouse or some type of outpost not that it is folks and what makes this unusual is that strange part on the top this block is about 6 by 6 by 6 meters in size. Let's have a look at this. It seems to have a raised portion at the back 
another block over here on this side slightly higher than this one and then this strange oblong dome like protrusion or knob on the top here we'll zoom in on that block about six by eight meters in size and again check out the smooth flat surfaces and right angles and parallel edges Here's the artist's impression I did, a 3D render using Adobe Dimension. These are the anomalies we covered. However, I've rearranged them just so that they're in a group. Not that they were grouped like this, folks. This is only to show the strange geometry and symmetry in these pieces. So the first item we'll check out is the strange L-shaped piece right there and uh, the other blocks around it give you an idea of the scale this 45 degree angle on this long side is very unusual then we'll check out those items we have the square block on the side the longer thin column and then the strange trapezoidal part on the top Next we'll have a look at this arrangement, you can see the blocks next to one another, they move the parts slightly and they have signs of heavy erosion on them, here's that triangular part with the strange protrusion sticking out of the one side. Check out this object, we've got the block and uh, the two smaller raised rectangular parts on the top and this strange dome-like object sticking out of the one block over there. I don't know what we're looking at here folks but uh, the evidence seems to point to the possibility that these might be intelligently designed and manufactured blocks. Look at the symmetry and geometry the blocks are virtually the same size as well right let's go down to the equator to Elysium Planitia just zoom out a bit there's the photograph we took a look at fractured mesa in Elysium Planitia and to view it you need to download the JP2. Unfortunately, Google Earth Mars is very low res. So briefly, there's a look at those anomalies again. And then close by, we've got this item, strange disk with a dome on it. And this disk is about 12 meters in diameter. Some other anomalies in this photograph, we have this strange triangular part, each side is about 25 meters long, and then what looks like liquid that seeped up to the surface and ran down these slopes, very dark material, NASA says that uh, that might be dust avalanches I don't know about that folks could be so let's zoom on over about 180 kilometers to the east and have a look at this strange anomaly another triangular part also about the same size as that one we just checked out a perfect hole in the surface about 12 meters in diameter some more blocks next one I know we've got two rows there one of the blocks of here has moved away slightly and then more of this strange what looks like liquid that ran down the slopes over there 
and one last site. Strange alignment of boulders there. Very long narrow part, looks almost like a monolith. Check out the uniform thickness to that item as well. The straight edges in the right angle and then more of this dark material flowing down the side of that slope and then more of these strange broken up megalithic blocks. That concludes this one folks. Thank you for watching. Let's have a chat in the comments below. All polite opinions are welcome. You don't have to agree with me necessarily. But if you don't, let's have a polite conversation, please. Also, I've received comments that the blocks that I'm showing on Mars aren't the same size as those that are compared to here on Earth. That's true, but if you look at the vast range of megalithic blocks here on Earth, they do range from 1 by 2 meters approximately up to 22 meters long by 5 meters wide and 5 meters deep. It depends where we look. Those large blocks are located in Baalbek, Lebanon. And Mars does have a slightly lower gravity than Earth, so it makes sense that the uh, megalithic blocks that they built there might be a little bit bigger than here on Earth. As always, all opinions are welcome as long as they're polite. To my new subscribers, welcome on board. Thanks for joining the small growing community over here on YouTube. Take care. Until the next video, ciao for now.